first problem, we have 23.3 times 4. Now, if we want to start this problem, we can do a rough estimation to see where our final answer will be. To do this estimation, we start with our decimal number, which in this case is 23.3. So we start with 23.3, and we round up and down. Rounding down gives us 20, and then rounding up gives us 25. Now we take our rounded down number and our rounded up number, and we multiply it by 4. So first we take 20 times 4. Now to do this, we just ignore the 0, and we continue with 2 times 4, which gives us 8, and then we bring down that 0 that we first ignored. So we're left with 80. And then we do 25 times 4, and we know that 25 times 2 gives us 50, so that means 25 times 4 should give us 100. So our final answer should be anywhere between 80 to 100. Now again, you don't have to do this. This is just an estimation to see where our final answer will lie. Now to begin the actual question, we just want to first write our, num our numbers down. So we have 23.3 times 4. First we want to take our 4 and multiply it by every digit on top. So we have 4 times 3, which is 12. So we bring the 2 down and then carry the 1. We have 4 times 3, which is 12 again. And then 12 plus 1 gives us 13. We bring the 3 down and carry the 1. And then 4 times 2 is 8, or 8 plus 1 gives us 9. So now that we have our numbers on the bottom, we now need to deal with the decimal. To deal with the decimal, we count how many numbers in our original question are behind the decimal. So in this case, we only have one number behind the decimal. So in our final answer, we're only going to have one number behind our decimal. So our final answer is going to be 93.2. And then we can ask, does this make sense? And it does, because 93.2 is greater than 80, but less than 100. So 93.2 makes sense as our answer.